Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Taurus. Look at this right away. Pinchy blessings right away. Taurus, this may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does and leave the rest for someone else or the universe. <laughs> you don't want this. For some of you guys, this fell on the ground. This is really telling me you're done. You're over it. If you were dealing with uh, another earth sign that might have left you out in the cold, threw you out, ya lo tirates, it's gone. If this is you, that you felt you got dethroned, and it could have been somebody that you love, and I mean, right when I shuffled, look in this card, this could have been somebody that you might have loved that didn't know your worth. For a lot of you guys, this particular person that might have, you know, chunked you to the curb, they didn't realize they were losing the fucking blessing. You are the blessing. Put it in the comments. I am the blessing. Because a lot of you guys, Taurus, when it comes to Taurus, anywhere in your chart, some of you guys, you're being asked to look in your, um, what do they call it, Vedic chart. Some of you guys, these messages are from either either one, but look. If you had to walk away from a relationship in the midnight hour, maybe they were breadcrumbing. If you had to walk away, I'm hearing they're kind of in regret. This particular person could have not put no effort in. Or this could be you. Maybe you didn't want to put no more effort in this situation. You were going back and forth, but I'm just channeling somebody is watching you. And this could be somebody with integrity. This could be you putting your sword up. Because a lot of you guys aren't really out there. But it's somebody that wants to be honest with you. And Taurus, I don't know why I'm getting this energy if somebody wants to come back at you because you're about to kill it. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting into it, they're saying, yeah, whatever you always get into. Taurus, this is a person or people, because this could be a group of people that are watching you close out the cycle. But if you see this lady, and you could be a man. Because some of you guys, your masculine energy Damn, it was up there. And the way the universe pulled you back, God said, no, I'm going to teach you how to manifest. And when you start to balance those two, so a lot of my guys that are watching this, if you ain't in touch with God, the universe, that book will teach you a lot of things. But this could have been you, Taurus, in this energy. Trapped or this way they had you. Or this is the way you had yourself, is what I'm hearing. And the Lord, God, you know this Ace of Wands right here? It's almost like, you know, something like a gift from God. Well, some of you guys, what you're going through right now, you're going through hell, right? Some of you guys are getting in isolation where you, you can move, but you can't move. And you can't understand why. You're sitting here like, why can't I do this? Some of you guys can't leave your house. And you're watching people just in this energy, victory. And you're sitting here like this. Why can't I move forward? Some of you guys got pushed out of a home and you're having to look at things from a distance. But you're missing the bigger picture is what I'm hearing. Because God is always with you. Because a lot of you guys used to take action like this. And some of you guys are afraid that you're going to lose the opportunities. You saw, I didn't put it out here, but you saw that um, the victory, like a bunch of people just hauling ass. If it comes back again, out again, then I'll pull it out. <laughs> but the universe wanted you to focus on love. There's something about your heart chakra. Something about your heart chakra. You need to drink limon con agua. Some of you guys like to drink lemon with water. Now, Taurus, for some of you guys, you're, you may be dealing with a situation 
Well, when it came to love, it was a tower moment. Maybe you were engaged. This person might have had you in this confusion or you were confused because there was a tower moment because they might have just pulled out at the last minute. For some of you guys pull out at the last minute, you were expecting to get pregnant, but this particular person just wanted to get it in. Don't be doing that raw shit because you were wanting a baby, but this person knowing it has you stuck in this energy. Why? If we were planning on having a move. So you felt used and abused, but the universe caused this tower to get you away from that particular person. You couldn't create a family with that person. Maybe you wanted it, but it's not the correct person. And you need to go to God with this confirmation. If it's you, if it resonates with you, you will know if it wasn't a person that wasn't right for you because they were just giving you breadcrumbs. And it's not just about the money, just energetically. Your love, they weren't showing up when they when they said they were going to show up. Maybe they would give you bits and peas. Maybe they were just giving you enough love and then pulling back. And you were noticing these red flags, but oh, you wanted to put it in or you wanted to receive it. And the universe is telling you like, man, I'm showing you this person is just breadcrumbing you. Oh, but it feels so good. And, and man, you were up and going for my males. You were like, hell yeah. And if, for my females, if they called you, shit, you were ready to go. Chongos and all. You know, you're ready to go. For some of you guys, if you found out about a third party shit, you got up and went. You got your stick ready, man. You <laughs> beat his ass. But the, that was the devilish energy. You need to pull back. Somebody wants to go, let them go. And you're learning how to detach. And some of you guys, if you were hurt in the past, some of you guys are still holding on to that pain and you're not open to receive love. And, and it's this devil energy when it comes to love. Look, you have a water sign, female or male, coming towards you emotionally, or you're being asked to be in this energy. Just because in the past you might have got conflict, fighting. Some of you guys experience some uh, some abuse, and I don't consent to that. I don't believe in that. I don't. That ain't. You know, we grew up possibly seeing that within our families. You know, for for some of us, we've seen it. We don't talk about it, but it is, and we're breaking that generational curse where we don't have it. But the devil, I'm hearing, the devil will come in and look right behind it, and it'll push you, push you to that extent where. Maybe somebody, your counterpart might have threw you out, but it was the devil in between. It could have been somebody with earth in their chart that came in between this relationship. Look, confirmation with this something new. Somebody could have been in their ear, you know, kind of interfering. Oh, you got, you don't need such and such. Taurus, they ain't no good for you. They wanted to implant. So if this is you that might have went through this and you pushed somebody away, you were listening to somebody in this energy. Could have been a Capricorn or somebody with moon in their Capricorn chart. I'm hearing moon. You know, they, they had been already hurt from previously. Um, could be, you know, even a water sign. They could have been hurt in the past. And you got to understand, we come here to learn for our lessons. And this particular person could have been hurt. They could have been betrayed in the past and they see the energy that you put out the love and for some of you guys they were jealous and they might have led you a straighter this could have been you doing it to somebody else but with what they're not realizing for it some moon rising in venus that whether they're with you or not you still have this blessing coming towards you so if you were left out in this energy or left out because of this energy you still remained in this loving energy, the Ace of Cups. You know, that landing right there, it might have stopped you for a while, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, anywhere in chart. It might have stopped you because you wanted justice. And you wanted justice like in Chinga. Like, God, why aren't you doing this? And, and you know, they caused me all this conflict. And it doesn't work like that. 
it doesn't work like that because you want this happy family. For some of you guys, you were taken away from a family like this. And for a lot of you guys, look, we saw the empress right here. You were in this energy. But this could be somebody around you that, that happened to experience this. It could have been you when you were a child and you saw this fighting and destruction. For some of you guys, this is even with siblings and that they want me to say that's for another otra story, another another tarot. If that was a family, you know, they like I said, look, you are a star and the way you manifest, somebody didn't like it. You guys were already in this emperor and empress energy. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing the conflicts that led to feeling defeated. Could have been caused by a third party situation. And for a lot of you guys, man, they closed it out. Look, and this card was out. For a lot of you guys, there's, you're accomplishing. You're, and I just keep hearing you're killing it. There's something that you're doing that you're doing with God. And look, this burro th turned into a stallion. Look at this. But this is you being guided by God, man or woman. Look at the fruitfulness. If you lean on God and not your understanding, because sometimes we want to go in a different direction and it leads us to this because we're not trusted in God in the universe. And you know what, Taurus, for a lot of you guys, if it has to do with karma, and you decide to go a different way, let's say this is your free will, You embrace karma like you embrace it, like you ain't a bitter mother. You just say, all right, fuck it. That didn't work out. You might stay down for a little bit. You may stay down for a little bit. But you know what? You know who the fuck you are. Excuse my language. I don't know. But look, you look, he's like, damn. And I see you just breathing. And you see the leaf right here, three? Guess what that is? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it's something that you hold very tight that now you might be expressing it to other people because for a lot of you guys, <laughs> they watch you behind their burdens. And I'm hearing the burdens they caused you. For some of you guys, you're realizing who the hell you are. And you might have always known, but you weren't rushing. Now we're hearing patience, patience. Some of you guys weren't rushing because God was telling you how to move as you should. And maybe people celebrated, but it's your turn to celebrate. See, it's your turn to celebrate because you listen to God. And a lot of you guys speak truth while people were talking shit. Mira, tú estabas aquí. Calmado, you were just holding tight and they wanted you in this energy. You know what? You held on to your burdens. For a lot of you guys, this is you. You don't have no shame and guilt, but people may think that. You know what I'm saying? Look, the truth will come out. You're like, fuck yeah, bring the truth. Look, you steady right there. And a lot of you guys, you've been holding back and you just say, God, what do you want me to do? Stay in love and forgiveness, man or female. And a lot of you guys, because you haven't entertained the BS, look, God is bringing you a pinchy blessing. Look, we see it right here. Yes. Even though you were bored, even though you were in depression, some of you guys are learning how to express yourself, but express yourself with love. You don't want what happened to you to happen to any anybody else and you stay obedient to God and even though it might seem that you're losing and they're backstabbing you a lot of you guys fuck it the more they backstab you the more they talk shit about you the more blessings that you will get mm -hmm. look for a lot of you guys the heartbreak is upside down. So if they were backstabbing you, a lot of you guys have the ability to see. You might have told you, you might have prophesied some things to this particular person you left behind. 
and they didn't pay attention. Por qué? And I'm a, I'm, I could, uh, man, these cards are all messed. They want me to use a different deck. All right. A lot of you guys, look. Somebody fumbled the bag on you. Some of you guys took a risk and rolled the dice. You got life path number one, life path number three. Maybe those two teamed up against you, I'm hearing. And then you have 10. Completion, baby. Some of you guys took that risk. And look. Six, six. I mean, six, six. Maybe that means a meeting. Three, three. The angel number 33. Check it out. Important message for you. Important message. So let's see. What do we have for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart? It says right here, stagnant routine. So some of you guys are coming out of this stagnant routine. 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 Someone wanted you stuck there. Or some of you guys, people were wondering that you were stuck in a routine, but I think that was an illusion because look, you called God. This is sharks in there. And God has you looking at your past and there. You might've had people like, why do you, I'm hearing like a, even a parental figure or a siblings. Why are you looking towards the past and see whoever was on your ass? about the past this and that you were healing a lot of you guys your testimony is so important to the world those the people you were dealing with don't understand that they might be scared because your testimony will expose people but it's not meant the way you're coming you have you have a heart of gold is what i'm hearing and you're not doing shit out of malicia uh, you know, you have the golden egg, baby. So you want to see people grow. I'm talking to a Taurus that wants to see people grow. And they have a history of showing, you know, allowing people to grow. Even higher than them, this is part of your purpose. Look. And people try to cause a tower, but does that look like a tower? That looks like you're about to be in the spotlight. There's something you're doing that you made it look so freaking easy. And I'm hearing, you're about to kill it. Something about red roses. But look, they wanted you right here. And maybe this is the people that, that might have hurt you. And they're mad because look, every trap they set or every pit they might have dug for you, any situation, you heal this inner child. And I talk about healing the inner child. I don't care how bad I see kids to you. Whatever you've been through, you, if you tap into your child, your inner child, you heal it. Because when you were going through these difficulties, you might have been like this. Or they are. But look, you tapped in. And instead of having your sword out there to try to get back with this childish bullshit, you fucking went in and God gave you ideas. You were willing to be open. When you have a child, like your inner child healed, you're willing to learn. I refer to this when I talk to people there, like I'm having issues with my sibling and they're, they're holding resentment and, and fuck, I fucked up and he just won't forgive me. A lot of it has to do with pride. You know, I tell people all the time, I say, look, this card flipped over. This is you offering and just being grateful to God, the universe, because repeatedly over and over, prosperity comes to you and it comes from God, the universe. Look, why? Because you, you, some of you guys are having a baby or had a baby. Because you stay excited with God through the harshest times. Through these times, look, you still give God his glory. Put it in the comments, baby. And there's somebody out there that, that just, was going against you, look, partying and this and that, but it isn't no, it isn't fun no more. Destructive indulgence, and this could have even been you. This could have been you going through these phases. But then you're like, holy shit, God, you're right. I was fucking up. Or this could be your person. But I see this you going like, damn. But I, but since you forgave, you didn't seek revenge. You stayed in your lane. 
you get these new ideas from the universe. The universe, since you start to be um, appreciative or grateful, the universe starts to come and, I mean, just continues to give you more and more. And look, that's the sun, flower, and the moon, sun and the moon, day and night. I'm telling you, some of you guys are going to meet somebody that's going to give it to you day and night. Hallelujah. Put it in the comments because some of you guys, when you love, you love. And it's almost like this conflict. Look, mm. and I'm hearing when I see this, this is like the Kundalini just. For a lot of you guys, there's, there's a conflict that you want to resolve when it comes to love. And it has to do with the baby that maybe that you got into a situation where you're just tired. You couldn't perceive there was some blockages that you could not take off when you needed to. And it had to do with something with the baby and injustice. But you gave it to God, the universe, because there was nothing else you could do. They're going to get their karma. You gave it to God. So a lot of you guys keep moving forward. The way you keep moving forward, inspiring people. Hijo de su pinche madre, look. So that's what I got for you. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. They want me to give you one of these before we leave. Okay. Something about the Star of David. Some of you guys need to look into that. There's protection. You got energies that are wanting to crush your relationship or just you mentally. And this card came flying out. It says, fuck what they think. So a lot of you guys look. And this is going to be somebody that's watching, you know, fuck what they think. And this is you telling other people, this is God telling you, fuck what they think. And stay obedient the way he has you moving. Some of you guys, you're like this, wanting to go forward, wanting to go forward. And the universe is like, no, until I say so. Okay, all right. So you Cadillac and it feels like you're wasting time, but you're on his time. On his time is what I'm hearing. It says put this card in your pocket and use it as, a, as your mantra today, all day, and tomorrow. While you're at it, fuck what they think. Fuck what they think and fuck what they think. All together now, put it in the comments. Fuck what they think. Let freedom ring and fuck what they think because you're winning. God is pushing you forward. Put it in the comments. I am protected. Freedom is my birthright because some of you guys were dealing with somebody that was trying to put you in this ten of swords, just have you stuck. And just because your vibration is high and you know, they get blessed by your vibration. Mm-hmm. And exhale that shit. So that's what I have for you. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. They said check your Vedic chart. Some of you guys will be surprised where it's positioned. And that's where you need to be putting it all in is what I'm hearing. And look, the last card. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody from New York or something is coming towards you. Patos, mis. Yes. And for the Tarot at 8, don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, the fucking table's this big. I got to reach over. Orale. And for the Tarot at 8, 8, 8.